Hello everyone, my name is Adil Rahman and this is Razer Blade 15 Advanced Model. It is one of the best Windows laptop but you can only order it with 512GB SSD and 16GB of RAM. That might not be enough for you. Nowadays, most smartphones are coming with 512GB memory. So Razer should be providing at least 1TB option. Look at Apple MacBook Pro. They are giving you option to order it up to 4TB SSD. No worries, we are going to upgrade it. First we need a SSD. I am going to use this Samsung 2TB 970 EVO SSD. It is NVMe ESD. Secondly, you need DDR4 RAM. You have two sticks. I want 64GB RAM so I bought two 32GB RAM sticks from Samsung. It's 2666 MHz. We will also need a USB drive to install Windows on the new SSD. It should be at least of 16GB. I will be using this. USB drive. You will also need an external drive to backup your files and install few drivers that you will need after installing the windows. You will need T5 and Phillips screwdriver. I will be using iFixit kit. Finally, you need a USB mouse. This is because when you use new SSD, windows will lose trackpad drivers but it can detect mouse. So you need to connect the dongle even if it's wireless. I will link all these items below. Install Windows 10 installation media tool, plug in the USB drive to the Razer Blade 15. Open the tool and then click on create installation media for another PC then click next. Select USB flash drive and click next. Select the USB drive from the list and click next. It will take some time depending on your network connection to download the windows. Click finish when it's done. Next, we need to tell Windows to boot from this new USB drive instead of our installed hard drive first. This way, when we swap it out for the new one, it will boot from the USB and we can use that to install Windows on the newly installed drive. Head to PC settings, click update and recovery, recovery and under advanced setup, click restart now. Once it reboots, click on troubleshoot, advanced option and then click on UEFI firmware settings and then click restart. Select boot. Move the order of booting so that USB drive is at the top. This way we can basically put windows on our USB drive and use that to install windows on the new drive. Then reboot into windows and unplug the USB drive so it doesn't boot back into that again. Now since we will lose all of our driver when we install windows on the new drive, we will need to reinstall all of them. Most of this can be easily done through windows update. But to get to windows update we need internet access and to get that we need some Wi-Fi adapter drivers so that computer can use that Wi-Fi adapter. So just save them to that external drive. Now turn off the computer, flip it over. It's a good idea to put something soft under it so you don't scratch the lid. Unscrew the 10 T5 screws holding in the metal plate and set them aside. Using your finger, pray up the bottom plate until it clicks off. You should see the one M2 SSD slot. Unscrew the Phillips screw holding it down and it will pop up. You can then slide it out. Put your new SSD in the same slot and make sure it clicks in and locks down. Now to install RAM you should see the RAM slot but they are under some ribbon cables. Gently undo the two pieces of tape holding them down, no need to remove them, just unstick them so we can move the cables. And pay attention to the one attached to the socket as you need to pull it up and the metal bar that unlocks the socket as well. Once that's done you can gently tug on that ribbon cable as horizontally as you can, not upward and it will slide out. Now we have enough room to get at the RAM modules. Then click the two metal brackets on the side of the RAM, it will pop out and you can slide it out. Do the same to the other RAM module and set them aside. Put your new RAM in the same slots at an angle and then click them down and make sure they lock into place. You can now just put the metal plate back on, screw it back in place and go into reinstalling windows. Now to install windows, plug in the USB drive and turn on the computer. When I turned on after upgrading SSD and RAM, the screen was not working and my heartbeat suddenly increased but I found out the ribbon cable was not connected correctly so after reconnecting screen worked. Now that the computer should show the recovery option from the USB drive, select install and follow the prompts to install the windows on the new SSD. After installing windows plug in our USB mouse so we have a mouse that works. Plug in our external hard drive with the Wi-Fi drivers on it and drag and drop the installer file. Double click it to install the Wi-Fi drivers. Once we have internet access again by connecting to a Wi-Fi network we can open settings, click update and recovery, click windows update and have it check for updates. Mine had to check a few times and just keep adding more and more and rebooting and then I will go and recheck and it would find more. Just keep doing this until windows update says you are up to date. You might also need to download Nvidia GeForce Experience from their site and then have that check for updates as well. 
to get the discrete GPU to work properly. And finally, re-download Razer Snap 3.0 from their site to get your device setting Chroma macros back. Now that we are back in Windows, let's just make sure the RAM and SSD are properly installed. To check if the RAM is installed properly, turn on computer, then go to setting, click system, then click about and confirm there is correct amount of RAM showing under installed RAM. You can then check that the computer can see all of our new SSD storage by going to file explorer. Right click on C drive then click properties and make sure the total storage amount is correct. Don't forget to sell the old RAM and SSD once you confirm the new ones are working. Put them on eBay or Craigslist or however you would sell a used electronic. Helps to cover some of the cost of the new memory. Hope you guys enjoy this and thanks for watching.